If your coin is tossed six times, calculate the probability of obtaining A exactly four heads and B at least two heads. Because we have a binormal distribution, if we let N equal the number of independent trials and P equal the probability of success, then the probability of having R successes is equal to N choose R times P raised to the power of R times the quantity one minus P raised to the power of N minus R. In our case, since a fair coin is tossed six times, N, the number of independent trials is six, P, the probability of success, is the probability of getting a head, and because we have a fair coin, P, the probability of success, is equal to 50% or 0 0.5. And for part A, because we want the probability of getting exactly four heads, R, the number of successes is four. Again, this is only for part A. And therefore, the probability that x equals four, meaning we have exactly four heads from six tosses, is equal to six choose four, times the probability of success raised to the power of r, which is 0 0.5 raised to the power of four, times the quantity one minus p raised to the power of n minus r, well, one minus p is one minus 0 0.5, which is also 0 0.5, raised to the power of n minus r, six minus four is two. Simplifying, six choose four is equal to six factorial divided by the product of four factorial and six minus four factorial, which is two factorial. And then we still have 0 0.5 to the fourth times 0 0.5 squared. Let's go ahead and simplify this quotient here. Because we have a four factorial in the denominator, let's write six factorial as six times five times four factorial, all over four factorial times two factorial. Here, because the bases are the same and we're multiplying, we can add the exponents. 0 0.5 to the fourth times 0 0.5 squared is equal to 0 0.5 to the sixth. Simplifying, four factorial divided by itself simplifies to one leaving us with 30 divided by two factorial, which is equal to three divided by two or 15. This is equal to 15 times 0 0.5 raised to the sixth. And now we'll go to the calculator. 15 times 0 0.5 raised to the sixth, rounded to four decimal places, is approximately 0 0.2344. which is equal to 23.44%. So if a fair coin is tossed six times, the probability of getting exactly four heads is approximately 23.44%. And now let's determine the probability of at least two heads. The probability of at least two heads is equal to the probability x equals two, plus the probability x equals three, plus the probability x equals four, plus the probability x equals five, and then finally, plus a probability x equals six. It'll be easier to determine the probability of at least two heads by using the complement. So the probability that x is greater than or equal to two, meaning greater than or equal to two heads, is equal to one minus the sum of the probability that x equals zero and the probability that x equals one. So again, we're saying here, if we take 100%, and then subtract the sum of the probability x equals zero and the probability x equals one, this will leave us with the probability that x is greater than or equal to two. And for the probability x equals zero, we know r, the number of successes is equal to zero, and for the probability x equals one, the number of successes r is equal to one. So this is equal to one minus, again, the sum of these two probabilities with the probability x equals zero is equal to six choose zero times p raised to the power of r, which is 0 0.5 raised to the power of zero times the quantity one minus p raised to the power of n minus r, which is 0 0.5 to the sixth. And then we have plus the probability x equals one, which is six choose one times 0 0.5 raised to the power of one times 0 0.5 raised to the power of n minus r, which is five. And now let's find these two probabilities. 
we have 1 minus 6 choose 0 is 6 factorial divided by the product of 0 factorial and 6 factorial. And 0 0.5 to the 0 is equal to 1, so we have 0 0.5 to the 6th plus 6 choose 1 is equal to 6 factorial divided by the product of 1 factorial and 5 factorial. And here, because we're multiplying, the bases are the same, we can add the exponents. This product is 0 0.5 to the 6th. Let's continue simplifying. We have 1 minus 6 factorial divided by itself simplifies to 1. 0 factorial is equal to 1. And therefore, we just have 0 0.5 to the 6th. Because we have a 5 factorial here, let's write 6 factorial as 6 times 5 factorial. And then we have divided by 1 factorial times 5 factorial. Well, 5 factorial divided by itself simplifies to 1. 1 factorial is 1. And therefore, this simplifies to 6. And then times 0 0.5 to the 6th. And now let's go to the calculator. We have 1 minus, and then in parentheses, we have 0 0.5 raised to the power of 6. Right arrow to get out from the exponent position. And then we have plus 6 times 0 0.5 raised to the power of 6. Right arrow, close parenthesis, and enter. Running to four decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.8906. which would be 89.06%. So the probability of tossing a fair coin six times and getting at least two heads is approximately 89.06%. I hope you found this helpful.